Imagine going back to school and having to go to class in the gymnasium or maybe having to go to a different school altogether. Construction delays for students from Dare Elementary in York County, or Yorktown actually, to do just that. And now, an unwanted gift from Hurricane Irene just may force them to do it for even longer. So on your side's Walter Hildebrand explains. The only school work being done right now in the main building at Dare Elementary is, well, work on the school. A summer renovation project to replace the heating and air conditioning system as well as windows and countertops took longer than expected. <laughs> then there was Hurricane Irene and officials say the contractor didn't properly secure the building. And with that, some of the components of the building inside became wet because of water and uh, now a lot of that work has to be redone. That rain left mold which is now growing throughout the building in a, quite a number of the classrooms and also in the mechanical equipment rooms. Students are forced to learn in this gymnasium and some auxiliary classrooms as well. The lack of space has some children going to other nearby schools. I was very frustrated. Clarissa Hernandez has two boys at Dare Elementary and has to take another son to Seaford Elementary. She had to take a week off from work because of child care issues. I didn't know what I was going to, was going to do because of my job and having my little one in one school and then the two other ones in another school, it was going to be, I was very confused. I didn't know what to do. Hernandez realizes the school is trying to make the best of a bad situation. Her biggest question, and that of many parents, is how long will this situation last? As for her boys, they don't seem to mind. They like it. They have all their friends. You know, they really don't care. One thing for sure, this promises to be one school year they'll never forget. In Yorktown, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side. And there's still a timetable as far as when the students can return to their classrooms.